Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new around here then my name's London Hustle. The time has just gone half six and there is currently a 1.1 times multiplier on in Soho as well as an orange indicator on the map so it should be busy hopefully. Oh what is going on here there's like a police blockage going on. All right, thank you. Okay, How far is it uh, locked so off for? It's still the second bus. So you oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, we'll get off and walk. This bit's been blocked off. I think there's been a crash or something's happened here. I'm not entirely too sure. It's a good way to start the episode though, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be fun having to walk the bike through this crowd. I had a massive bag on my back as well. Yeah, it's currently half six right now. We'll probably stay out till about 10 o'clock, see how many deliveries we can get done in that time frame. The fact that there's a water player on is showing me that it should be busy. All right, we're back on the bike now. Not entirely sure what happened there. The police were taking notes from one of the bus drivers, so maybe there was an incident on one of the buses, but you can see the commotion it's caused. Look at all these buses here backed up on the right, just because they can't get down Oxford Street. We'll need to take that into note because if we get an order around here somewhere and it's taking us back that way, we're gonna have to find an alternative route because we don't want to have to get off and walk every single time because walking through that crowd of people with this bike and the bag is it's not the most ideal thing to be doing. Here we go, we're getting our first order of the night in from Duck and Rice. It's paying £4.58, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Soho is looking busy as usual. And it's probably only gonna get busier as the night progresses. The Duck and Rice aren't really known for being fast with their orders. So let's see if it's ready. Right, order for Larissa. That's the one. Perfect, thank you, mate. No problem. Well, that's the first ever time that I've arrived at that restaurant and the order's been ready. And I always say the first order of the night dictates how the rest of the shift goes. So if we adhere to that, then we should have a good shift tonight. You might have seen, but it tried to give me another order on top of that one for £1.73, I think it was, from McDonald's. Ain't no way in hell I'm taking a £1.73 order from McDonald's. You'd have to be paying me over £10 to take a McDonald's order tonight. I don't want to have to deal with their shenanigans. But we got the order now from Duck and Rice and this customer is a total of 12 minutes away. Wow, there's so much traffic backed up here down Oxford Street. I think some of this is to do with the fact that half the road is shut off because of that incident. Still not sure what that was, but it is causing a lot of traffic. Luckily, we're on a bike here so we can just zip around all of it. Uh, got delivery for Where is it? Hot food. It is hot food, yes. Yeah, just put Thank you. I didn't know the protocol of this building, so you can just leave it on the desk, which is ideal for me because I don't have to go up to the apartment, so it saves me some time. But they just sat there watching me lock up my bike this whole time and didn't say anything, so would have been ideal if they let me know so I didn't have to waste time doing that as well but that is the first order of the evening dropped off so that means we're on four pound and 58 pence the whole of London now is actually on a mortal player so that's really good news for us I'm gonna head back towards Soho just because it's the only area right now in central that is orange here we go we've made it to Soho without getting an order look how busy this is and it's only seven o'clock yeah, this is going to get packed tonight. All right, guys, just to give you a little update, it's currently 25 minutes past seven and we're yet to have another order. I'm really surprised. I've got a feeling it's because they put a boost on, so it's encouraged a lot of riders to come out. You can see loads of people just sitting around, loads of bikes waiting for orders. So I'm not sure if this is the best area to be in right now. We ideally want to go somewhere with a bit less competition. So I'm going to have a little ride around. Hopefully something comes through. Yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a little update. Oh, here we go. Maybe it wasn't such a bad decision to come to Chinatown. We're getting an order in for six pound and two pence from the Golden Dragon. And you're just going to pull out in front of me. Cool. Oh, you got to love London, don't you? But yeah, it feels good to be out of Chinatown out of that absolute madness back on the streets now. This customer's a total of 1.3 miles away. Google's saying it should take about 10 minutes, but I think we'll be able to shave a little bit of time off of that. Oh, 
hi you're thanks for coming down 4370 yeah. cheers thank you okay, enjoy so bye Oh, what a lovely customer. He came straight to the door for me, so I didn't have to go up and search for the flat, which is always nice. That paid us six pound and two pence. Both orders we've done tonight, I've locked up my bike and haven't actually needed to, but it's okay. I know it's quite early on in the video, but if you guys are enjoying so far, then be sure to smash that like button. If you're not already, consider hitting that subscribe as well. We're gonna be posting at least once a week on this channel now, so if you wanna see more like this, then make sure to subscribe. Oh, look at this Lamborghini, man. That is beautiful. That color of blue is so sexy. I reckon we can beat it in a race though. Oh, absolutely smoking the thing. It's no good in London that. That's an interesting colourway on that car. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? Alright, another little update for you guys. It's currently half eight. Can't remember what time I finished the last order, but it was definitely a while ago. The wrap is the map is bright red right now, but there's just nothing coming through. There's a lot of delivery riders sitting around doing nothing. You can see by the streets how many people are out right now, which means less people are at home or their hotels ordering food. And there's also a lot of riders out as well. So a lot of competition, not a lot of demand. It's not looking good for us. I was sitting outside Wingman's for a little while in Soho, but I got really bored. So I thought I'd come on a little ride, try to get myself an order this way. But it doesn't seem like we're having too much luck right now. Another little update for you guys. I just went ahead and got myself some dinner from Tortilla. They're actually on Too Good To Go now, which I did not know. So Too Good To Go is basically an app where you can save food from going in the bin, getting wasted. So you pay like a fraction of the price of what it would usually be and you have to collect it just before the store ends. So I just got myself a nice bowl from Tortilla. I left my delivery apps running the whole time, but nothing came through. I just think everyone's out tonight. I don't think many people are ordering at all. And like I said, there's a lot of drivers out as well. So it's going to be very, very hard to get an order right now, I think. I'm going to head back in towards Soho and you never know, we might get something there. But this is the reality of being a delivery driver. This is what it's like right now. The summer months are very hard for us delivery riders as a lot of people are not ordering. They're going out, getting their meals, going on holidays. So they're using up all their savings for holidays and not on food. So yeah, it's just the reality of what it's like. I want to keep it open and transparent for you guys to see what it's like. Sorry if the content is lacking a little bit in this video, but I really am trying. Oh my god, it's almost a miracle. We're actually getting an order in from Sainsbury's. Why do I feel like this is going to be a massive order with loads of water or something heavy? It's only £3.8, but honestly, I've done two orders in the last like three hours, so we're going to take it. All right, here we are at Sainsbury's. What are we picking up? 10 items, some tofu, peppers, onions, milk, four pints of milk. Okay, that's gonna be quite heavy. Mushrooms, cheese, naan breads. Okay, to be fair, the only heavy thing in here is the four pints of milk, so we'll take that. Hi, mate, got an order for Esha. Two bags, yeah? It doesn't feel too heavy actually, so I'll definitely take that. It's a nice little order actually, because it's five minutes away, 0.5 miles, and it's taken us north up towards Camden, which I was debating to go because Camden was red on the map, so I have a feeling it's gonna be busy up there. There's a few dark kitchens and restaurants around, so I think once we drop this order off, I'm gonna head up to Camden, and hopefully we have some more luck up there. All right, we gotta go up to the customer, and it's quite dark out, so definitely gonna be locking up the bike. Thank you so You're much. welcome. There's one more bag as well. 
There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have the... 9700. Uh, 9700. Thank you. All right, and there we go. Sainsbury's order dropped off. So after three hours, we've done three orders. Oh, I need to press this to get up. Yeah, that is a terrible ratio. This is probably one of the worst evenings I'm having in London in my whole time delivering. If any of you have watched the video where I went and delivered in Coventry, it gives me similar vibes to that because I was waiting around for hours and hours before getting the first order. And I think I only did three. Oh, why can't I unlock my bike lock? What's going on here? This is not good at all, guys. I can't get my bike lock off. Why is this not opening up? Oh, there we go. Thank God for that. I thought that wasn't going to open for a second. But yeah, this is definitely up there with one of my worst ever nights delivering. And I'm really shocked because there's a mortal player on and the map shows that it's red. But we're going to head up to Camden now and hopefully our luck can change. Turns out we didn't need to go to Camden because I've just got an order through from the chicken shop, which is just around the corner from me here. So let's go pick this up. Hopefully it's ready. Go, mate. Got an order for Lorraine. Not ready yet. Okay. All right, this order's going to be a few minutes. Look at the amount of rubbish outside here. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. The whole of Soho is like this as well. A lot of places are closing right now, so they're putting all their stuff outside to be collected. Oh, this customer's gone for chicken nuggets, six naked tenders, six Korean glaze tenders, and some house fries. Sounds quite nice, actually. Is that CC7? Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, we're heading over towards Covent Garden. So yeah, it's a decent little area to go to. I always like to deliver in places where there's restaurants around because it increases our chances of being straight onto another order, which would be nice because it's been lacking a lot tonight. Luckily, tomorrow is a Friday, so it's the start of the weekend and orders are usually quite good at weekends. So I'm going to be coming out all weekend filming some content for you guys. So hopefully the next video you watch is going to be filled with a lot of orders, a lot of things happening to make sure you stay tuned for that. This looks like we're going into a really nice apartment here, but we are gonna to have to go up to the flat. So gonna go ahead and lock up the bike. This looks like such a beautiful building. Hiya, you're right. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. <laughs> now your instructions are very clear. I appreciate that. There thank you are. You so much. You're welcome, Enjoy. Have a good night. You too. I'll give it to you as well. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, what a pleasant customer that was. Honestly, having a nice customer can make the world a difference. That woman said she was going to leave me a tip, which I thought was quite nice of her. We'll see how much she leaves on the up. There's a beautiful Lamborghini just up ahead. Oh, and he's just lit it out the window. Of course, he threw on the floor. And he's just chucked something in the, the window of a car. What on earth was that guy doing? I'm going to head down here in towards Leicester Square, see if it's busy down here. Hopefully, there's not too many riders waiting about. There we go. We're in Leicester Square. It's pretty quiet tonight. It's not that busy. Like I said, tomorrow is the weekend. So if we come here tomorrow, expect this place to be absolutely packed full of people. I think these two guys are filming TikToks down here. Yeah, they are. Leicester Square is a place that's always going to be full of life. If you watch my 24 hour video, you know I spent a lot of time here in Leicester Square and that was always something to keep me entertained. The good, the bad and the ugly. All right, guys, so the time has just hit 10 o'clock and yep, still no more orders apart from that one we just did. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there. If you did enjoy today's video, even though it might have been a little bit short, I really am sorry, guys. But tomorrow is the weekend, so hopefully the next video is going to have you jam-packed full of orders. Be sure to leave a like on this video, and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Like always, thank you for watching.